guys. So I want to do a quick video first. So I'm going to do a live stream Saturday, May 8th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you can come check it out and have fun with us. But a subscriber uh, let me in on a little secret that First Aid Beauty actually changed their formula for their First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum, which I've been using really since I started getting into skincare years. It's probably the most purchased product I've purchased. Love it. Have been using it every morning, generally every evening uh, in my routine. So they let me in on a little secret that they changed the formula, which uh, looks like they changed towards the end of March around there. So a couple months ago. So up until uh, the last Sephora sale, I had it stocked up, so I didn't need any. But uh, when I looked at the box from the recent purchase from the Sephora sale, it is indeed true. They did change their formula. So this is the original formula, the new formula. And I'm really annoyed. And I really think at this point, I'm going to have to be finding another serum that I love. Thankfully, the Purito Centella is always great. But they really changed it. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm guessing money. Money generally dictates what a lot of companies do and why they do it. Uh, they took out the peptide. They actually moved the phenox ethanol up to the one, two, three, fifth ingredient on the list. So the new formula has water, glycerin, soluble collagen, methyl glucalith 20, and then phenox ethanol. Those are like the first five ingredients. Uh, the original one had water, glycerin, soluble collagen, uh, colloidal oatmeal, which is great for skin. Uh, then we had a peptide, a, a palmitoyl tripeptide 5 pretty high up the list. That's no longer in the new formula at all. They got rid of that. Um, and then a lot of other good things. And then the uh, seventh to the last ingredient is phenoxethanol. So it's towards the very end. So now it's really high up and front loaded with that. And the first few ingredients are just slip ingredients. Uh, so they got rid of that oatmeal, which was really high up, the peptide, which was really high up, green tea extract, licorice root, were all really high up. And now the formula in my opinion, is average, not very exciting. They took out the peptide altogether. Uh, then all the good stuff is way towards the end, much less small percentage. Uh, anything that comes after phenoxethanol is less than 1%. Can't be used in formulas at a higher percentage than that. So they really took a good product and made it average. At this point, uh, seeing that preservative so high up and really nothing else of note above that, I think I'm actually going to return this. Uh, it just, to be honest, I hate to swear, but it pisses me off. I'm so sick of brands doing this. And then kind of like not even mentioning it, like we're just going to slip it under the radar. So I haven't even started using this one, but I know a lot of the good stuff isn't even up there. So what's the point of even opening it and using it? I mean, it'd just be a waste. So I don't know if they can resell this. I haven't opened it or used it. I don't intend to because I'm not very excited by the ingredients um, on the list and having the preserves so high up and then nothing else exciting above that just really irritated me. They've taken this great formula. It's been around for a long time and just made it depressingly not great. I mean, it's not bad, but it just doesn't have those great ingredients up front like I liked. So I think I'll be probably permanently switching over to this one. It's great. It's really, it's half the price, if not less than half the price. So anyway, so that's my rant for the day. I just don't get why brands change their formulas when they have something that's great that people love, then they change it. Um, Misha's one, I, they reinvent this product every year almost. So this is the newest formulation of their ampule, which I don't know, their original version is really great. Then they switched it last year and it got more scented. And then this one now is even more scented. So I don't know, I'm annoyed. If brands are going to change things, at least make them better and include more ingredients. Don't water it down and make it average. I'm not spending 40 bucks for slip ingredients. I mean, there are still some good ones, but they're towards the very end of the ingredient list. So anyway, that's my rant. If you guys have a favorite product that they changed the formulation of, let me know. And thank you, A. Ostify, for leaving that comment. Because I didn't realize I just purchased it like normal. And they kind of slipped that on the rug. So anyway, so any videos that I mention it and recommend it, don't listen to that because they changed it. So anyway, okay. Rant over. I feel a little bit better, although I'm getting visibly red because I'm upset. This stuff just irritates me. I don't know. Anyway, okay. I'm done. Thank you, guys. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Okay, bye.